I am Rundan Mbuba. I am a lecturer in the School of Statistics and uh, Actual Science at the, school, at the University of Vivatas Rand. I am a fellow of the Actual Society of South Africa and I'm also a Chartered Enterprise Risk Actuary. An actuary is a professional who is uh, skilled with statistics and mathematical abilities that help them uh, to make decisions in the presence of uncertainty. My personal journey towards becoming an actuary started when I was at Mbiri Secondary School, and that was in Tayandu. Uh, I My interest in the field mainly came because my older sister was actually already studying actuarial science at the University of Witwatersrand. Rand. And later, when I was in matric, I, I then actually got an opportunity to get a bursary with Discovery. I started by studying uh, a BSc in actuarial science with honors at the University of Cape Town. Uh, and then after that, I then uh, did my master's in, uh, in, in computer science and electrical engineering. Uh, I then have now completed my PhD in electrical engineering. So my work is, is actually very interesting because I, I'm in academia and I work in, in research. So research often, you know, for you to be a great researcher, you need to come up with new ideas. So often, you know, in the morning when I'm on the treadmill, I, you know, I think about things. Uh, I try to think about, you know, what could, what could we do differently? What could we tweak? What happens if we mix this algorithm with the other? What happens if we apply it in a different context? And I find that, you know, sometimes when you're, when you're in your downtime, uh, that's actually when, you know, things click. Uh, and it's actually quite important, also I'd advice if you're studying, and that you also have some downtime because that's when you, you know, sometimes you, you, you can get your ideas to click and sometimes that's when great things happen. It's almost two traits that one requires. The first one is you need to be technically competent in terms of, you know, your mathematical toolbox and getting the, those things done. But most importantly and secondly uh, is the fact that you need to, you know, uh, be able to learn new things. If you're determined, you're seeking help, uh, and you're technically uh, astute, uh, then you can get it done. In terms of career opportunities that are available and options that are available to, to actual science graduates, uh, those have almost grown exponentially in recent times. I mean, uh, if you ask me the same question, you know, 15 years ago, I'd have said in insurance, you know, be it life, short term, and so on. But over and above that, we're seeing opportunities opening up anywhere where decisions need to be made. Uh, with data. I mean, we're seeing actuaries going into your Amazons, your Google, uh, and actually assisting in actually making those organizations efficient. So anywhere with this data, be it in banking, be it in tech, uh, actuaries are, are showing up. You know, this field is, is not going away. I mean, we, uh, data is all around us, uh, and whenever decisions need to be made on the basis of data, actuaries are going to be present, so you're going to have you know, a lot of work coming your way uh, in, for decades to come. In terms of somebody who's starting out in the field, the advice I'd give them is you know, they should enjoy the journey. Uh, there will be some interesting you know, difficulties that come through, uh, but then overcoming those difficulties, it's actually going to be quite fulfilling. Uh, and the one day when you get your fellow certificate, and that's when you've realized that you know, you, you, you've built a solid character behind yourself uh, and therefore you can do even more things. Mm -hmm.